there is a brand new AI app called Sora from the creators of ChatGPT, and it might be the most mind-blowing app ever made. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is and exactly how to use it in this video. So as of right now, Sora is available on your iPhone. So it's an iOS app. So you could search for Sora by OpenAI. This is the logo and you could download it. And if you have a ChatGPT account, you could go ahead and use that to log in or you could just log in with Apple, Google or email. Now I'll jump into my actual account to show you what it is. There is a chance while you're signing up, it's gonna ask you for an invite code that looks like this. I don't have any remaining but check the comment section. As soon as I find one, I'll go ahead and pin it in the comment section of this video if it does ask you for this. If it doesn't ask you for this, then it's gonna let you just jump into the app. Okay, so what is Sora exactly? Well, Sora is an AI video generation model, but this new version of it is actually a social media app. So if I go to the homepage, and if you've ever used TikTok or Instagram, this is a social media app. The only big difference is everything you're looking at here is AI generated. There is actually no real videos on this app at all. All this is AI generated video. So you could go ahead and just interact with it just like any social media app, or you could create your own, which I will also show you. Now, the nice part is right here, it does let you sort your social feed a few different ways. So for you, that's recommendation by the app to what you might like latest again based on what was posted recently and you could follow people and you'll see that here or you could actually describe what you want to see with text and it will show you only that now they are changing this all the time so they might have some new updates as you're watching this video so let's go to our profile page here i've already set mine up but the profile is really simple you could see right here how many people are following you you could also see your username right on top and you could change all that and you could also change your profile picture and edit your bio. So those are pretty straightforward with any social media app. And before I show you some other settings, let me just show you how to create a video. So to create a video, you just press the plus sign right over here and then you could describe a new video. Just to show you how this would look, I'm just gonna type in a car commercial because you could type in something as simple as that without much detail and it will create that video. So I'll show you a 10 second video. This does create 10 second videos and this is one example. It's not just a drive, it's a climb. Through mountains, through city streets, through every boundary you've ever met. Power that answers instantly, control that whispers confidence. So the second way you could make videos is with you in the video. So you would just pick yourself from this list of what are called cameos. Cameos are basically an AI version of you. So before I create one, I'm gonna show you how to actually create your own cameos. So it will ask you during the sign-up process to do that, but anytime you could click the settings, come to this page right here called Cameo Access, and you could go ahead and create yourself a video. So let me delete my cameo here so you could see the same page. It will start on this page. I will press Get Started, and I'll go ahead and create myself a cameo. So it's gonna ask you to read a couple of numbers, 99, 26, 28, and then in a second, it's gonna ask you to move your head left and down. And in about a minute, it's gonna be able to completely clone you here. Now, right here, you have different cameo options. I call them AI avatars, but in this app, they're called cameos, a clone version of you, an AI version of you. The only me option will set them on total private. No one could use those cameos to make a video of you or with you, which you could also do. You could do this option where you could approve people based on who's following you. You could also do mutual, so you have to follow them and they have to follow you in order to get that option. And you could also exclude people, or you could set it for everyone and everybody could see it, but you can exclude people with that option as well. And you also can set yourself a Cameo preference. So if you want restrictions on what Cameos can't do, you could just simply type that over here or you could leave that blank. Okay, let's jump back into our profile. Let's press the plus sign here and let's select ourselves for the cameo. And now I'm gonna describe what I'm doing and it's gonna create a video without me creating any video myself. It's literally using that cameo to create that video. In the back lot of an old school gangster picture. They have the fedoras, the chrome cars, even the fake midnight mist. Now, everything you saw in that video was from this text prompt that I typed over here and then tagged myself, tagged my cameo and this was created all with AI. So anyone that sees this now on their feed could like it, could comment on it, can also remix it. So they could describe what they want changed and it will actually use that video and remix a version of it. 
and they could always share it too. So they could copy a link or share it to people that they follow. And these three dots lets you download it directly to your phone. It will have the Sora watermark though if you do download these here. Now there is another way to create videos. So if I press the plus sign, I could also choose this image option and that lets you upload an image that you have already on your phone. Now the image cannot have a person in it. That is a privacy option and a security option they have. So as long as it doesn't have a person, you could have pets, for example, or a background or a setting and then describe exactly what you want happened to this image. And I just wrote my cat cooking breakfast. So I just took a picture of my cat, wrote that, press send over here, and it's gonna generate it and it will be saved to my draft mode. This is what it ended up looking like. What are you doing up here, chef? You making breakfast? That egg's looking pretty good. Don't touch the pan, it's hot. Mm-hmm, smells good, huh? Now here's the most popular part of this app. If you press the plus sign, I could create a video without me, I could create a video with me, or I could create a video with multiple people in the video. So the people that have their cameo set for everyone can be selected here and we could make a video together. So I tagged myself, I tagged Sam Altman, who's the creator of this app. And I said, making a YouTube short about Sora and I'll send this out. Now, when you do create videos, they show up in the draft mode first. So they actually don't get posted on your account till you decide to post them. So you could preview any video that is done here and post it from right over here, or you could edit the video here and make changes to it, okay? So that is always available in the draft mode. Once they do get posted, they do appear on your account like this. So once you press post, this is what they look like. And by the way, you see the text that gets created too. That is all AI. I think about the future of AI. I see systems that help people do more, create new jobs and solve big problems. It's gonna be about partnership. Exactly. Now, under the search tab, you could always search for other creators here. So if you know their profile name, you could go ahead and search for them that way. For example, if you wanna follow me, this is my profile handle. It's called Skill Leap, and you could go ahead and find me that way and follow me. And I usually create short AI tutorials on this app, at least my Cameo does here. And you could always find people that way that have a profile already. And there is also a direct message option. So on the home feed, you'll see that option right on top. And here you could press the plus sign and you could direct message people here as long as they have that option available. They can disable that in their setting. You could always search for messages here too. And when you select them, you could just press start messaging here and it'll take you to this page where you could start a direct message. And cameos can also be more than two people. So if you do wanna make a video, you can make it with multiple people. And the last thing I'll show you is you could actually right on top, change the orientation. If you wanna make a landscape video, you can. It doesn't have to be just portrait, but obviously if you're making it for this social feed, portrait is the one that makes sense. It fills out your whole screen. The horizontal ones are great if you wanna download them and post them somewhere else. And that's your crash course into Sora. And if you really wanna master AI like tools like ChatGPT, I have an entire platform dedicated to teaching AI and it has a free trial. Comprehensive courses, about 30 of them. So if you really wanna learn AI, it shows you step-by-step -step on how to get there with very comprehensive videos and courses and certification. I'll put a link to the free trial in the description. Thanks for watching this one, I'll see you next time.